Hey, hey y'all. I wanted to record this video because once again, when I have something on my mind, I want to get off my mind. I need to go ahead and record it so I can stop thinking about it. But anyway, um, as you can see, my throat is still raspy. Thank you all for the comment on my video I did, waiting for power to come on. I had took some Zyrtec Z and that like helped me like instantly. So I've been taking it ever since that um that night I recorded the power video. So yeah, it's Sunday, so I'm just uh, yeah, they all like what where you at? where you got thought you were sick. I am, I feel better, so I came in and did a climb today. So yeah, it's pretty late, so I need to get back to the house so I can take a shower and relax. But anyway, I got to talk. I didn't tell y'all all of that stuff while I tell y'all what the purpose of this video is. Y'all know how I am. If you're new to my channel, it takes me a while to get to the point, so let me get straight to the point. I um just want to talk about, again, speak on branding yourself. Well, the purpose of this video is you ladies out there, guys or whoever, who need more exposure on your YouTube channel, who need more exposure on your Instagram, if you are a makeup artist, nail technician, yeah, nail technician, nail technician, makeup artist, um, you're trying to sell something or whatever, you need more exposure. If you want me to give you a free shout out because that's the new thing with Instagram, you know, people, and I ain't knocking nobody to hustle here, I, I'd probably do it too. If I had a million um, followers, you, the new thing is, you know, you, you pay those people with all of those followers who's well known to, um, advertise on their page like I spoke uh, before so if you just starting out once again you're trying to get more subscribers or whatever you need a, a shout out let's make a comment below saying what's your YouTube name and make sure you spell it correctly and make sure you spell your YouTube your Instagram page if you are on Instagram now before I forget if you're on Instagram and you do want the followers and then the exposure to people for people to come and see what you can do you cannot have your page private so that's why I suggest you need to have your own personal Instagram. You need to have a private Instagram, uh, not a private, a uh, business Instagram. So you can show just your makeup work. You don't want nobody to go to your page and you say, I'm a makeup artist. And they see like one look a month and the rest of them is you booty shots and throwing this up and throwing up gang signs and shit. Nobody don't want to see that. So have a personal Instagram, have a business Instagram. Okay. Um. If you ask me to shout you out, I'm going to go and look at it. Well, if you, if, if you put it below, they gonna if people want to go and look, they're going to go and look. But you want, if you're serious, if you are serious about branding yourself, you want your Instagram or, and your YouTube to be something that people want to watch. If you're a makeup artist and you say, okay, CK, can you shout me out as a makeup artist? Like in a video or whatever. I don't have no problem doing that. But once again, like I just said, I'm going to go and look at your makeup. I don't want to see no damn makeup. And I'm just being honest. I know how I am. Not to make y'all laugh. But I'm just bringing to you straight, no straight, no chaser, baby. Try to tequila with no lemon. Like, I like it. You say you do makeup, I'm going to go to your page. I don't want to see no damn black eyeliner around somebody lips you done, done. With some red lipstick or something. And, and, and contour to hell. And foundation not matching their neck. And you see that shit when you take a picture because pictures don't lie and you post it up anyway. And nobody gonna want you to do their makeup. I'm just being honest. Um, you're a nail tech. You say, see, Kane, can you shout me out as a nail tech? I go to your page. I want to see clear pictures, not no blurry pictures. Pretty pictures. If you paint the nails, make sure there's no nail polish on the skin. Make sure it's clear, pretty poses, something attractive. See, Kane, I'm a hairstylist. Shout me out. I need, some, I need work as a hairstylist. First thing us black women gonna look at to see, and that's how I am. Do you have edges? Where your edges at? You on, I'm on your look at your page, and the, all of the posters are of you, and you you ain't no damn edge unless you have a medical condition. You supposed to have some edges. Your hair supposed to be always laid. You supposed to have pictures on your business page of just hairstyles you have done on people, front, side, and back. Using professional products, not no damn suave and pumping up, pump it up out of the dollar store. I'm just being honest. You want to show the brands of stuff that you use that helps also. If you're using a high dollar quality hair products, put the pictures of that up on your page. You sell them, you don't you doing makeup? Show your makeup. Show people that you got Mac, 
Noise, whatever y'all be using. I don't know. It's not S.A. Lauder. Y'all use S.A. Lauder? You don't nobody pay you. Uh, 50, I don't know. I don't know what y'all choice for full face makeup. Sixty dollars, and then all they see is you hollering. I'm gonna be honest. Some elf at the Dollar Tree. Like I ain't paying you for that. Show some damn Mac too. I mean, you can have a high end makeup and low end. Don't get me wrong. But you want your makeup poses, pictures of the models that you have done to be clear on point. Look at this shit because again, that's the, that's just the way. That's the world we live in. Folks gonna be looking at every little thing to see. Okay, this shit ain't matching. That ain't uh-uh hell now. You want people to give you that give you their money. You want everything to be on point. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Um you well once again you're makeup artist or whatever and, and you got a makeup page and they don't see no makeup, all they see is you posing. Nineteen booty poses in a row, cause I've seen it. And another thing too, I've seen on Instagram. If and I read comments, so folks be going in, so that's why I'm trying to tell you guys up front what to look out for, what not to do, and what to do. If you're not selling that skin tea stuff and those H, those drops for the lose weight or whatever, or you selling waist cinchers, babe, you better make sure your damn waist is snatched. You better, you better make sure that your waist is snatched. You better. Put some before and after pictures of you losing weight with this product you're trying to sell. How are you gonna sell something? And and I've seen it too. I've seen it on your page. And some people I understand just do it as a hustle. But if you want more customers to buy your stuff, convince me that you tried it and it worked for you. You want me to buy this skin tea from you, but I don't see no pictures of you. All I see is pictures of McDonald's or Whataburger where you went out to eat and stuff. And I might see a picture of you, but it's. Those kind of pictures, but you ain't showing is your weight snatched, you know, people that you have helped that has lost weight before and after. Once again, I've seen on Instagram, I've seen people go in on people because it's like, really? Like, how the fuck I'm about some tea from you? You over here eating some damn nachos or something, but that's just how it is, you know. <laughs> uh, so yeah, as a nail tech, my nails gonna always be on point. Right now, they're all different designs because that's how I make my money off of my designs. I'm, people say, oh, I want that on my finger. That's how I make my money. It's, it's all kind of different designs. So they're not really matching right now. I'm doing stuff that's like in, that's in, that's trendy. So my Instagram would be below Stay Ready Studio, the name of my business. And on that page, I post all just nail related items. On my personal Instagram, it's just a little bit of everything. So I think I got to the point. Not to y'all know how I am, not to make fun of anybody or anything, but it is what it is. I'm here to to warn you guys in advance. If you are serious, you do some business card. I just did a haul at the salon. I post it when I get home. You do some business cards from Vista Prince. If you never heard of Vista Print, I put that below. You do some business cards made, some good quality business cards. And pass them out and once again I get my work not from oh I, I got your card or somebody gave me your card but I get some clients like that but most of my clients come from me they stop at me in the store and they grab my hand oh my god who did that I'm like here's my card you did that I'm like yeah you did that yeah so yeah that's how I get my business I'm always on point y'all know me not only my nails I want to be I want to make sure I'm fresh I'm clean my hair is done at least I, I don't, y'all know I don't feel good, but I still got on my, my eye, I keep eyelashes on 24 7. But my eyebrows gonna be snatched when, I, when I'm going to the shop to do somebody's nails. I'm gonna look the part, I'm gonna smell fresh, I'm gonna look fresh. You a makeup artist, your makeup is supposed to be always snatched. I said, you gotta do a full face of makeup, but eyebrows, eyelash, well, at least your eyebrows, it's the first thing we see nowadays. Your eyebrows, your lip gloss, got to be popping. Yeah, makeup on you must always be snatched. You do hair, your hair must be always done. It's supposed to be done. Or you could put on, like I got on back there, my little, my ride or die, my little pimp hat. Put on your little pimp hat or something. You got to look the part. Smell fresh, freshen up, look decent. 
Stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. So that's the purpose of this video. I'm getting ready to repeat myself. Y'all know how I do it. So that's all this video was about. I'm trying to help you guys. Once again, I don't mind helping nobody. I don't. But if you want me to shout you out on a personal video that I have went and seen, or just put your information below so everybody can see it. Put your, your YouTube below and put your Instagram below. And it can't be private. If you serious, you got to fix that so anybody can follow you on your business. You can, you know, you ain't got to have everybody on your personal page, but on your business page. If you're on Facebook, you don't want to put out them people on your personal Facebook. I just cleaned out my Facebook because one person snuck in. I was being nice and like clicking on people like, okay, I let them in. And one person had the fucking nerve to come on one of my videos and say some shit. Not, I mean, one of my pictures. I'm like, well, one of my statuses on Facebook. I'm like, really? Like, what the fuck? So I went and, and deleted a lot of people that I don't even remember coming on none of my photos. So if you was on my Facebook and you're not on there no more, my personal Facebook, not, no, nothing personal. I just took some people out because, yeah, somebody was, was trying to throw shade on me on my personal Facebook. Y'all know I, I had like over 300 requests from people. Now, I have a... I had a CK68 page on Facebook, but I renamed this Stay Ready Studio. So, yeah, your Facebook should be your business page. So, Stay Ready Studio is my Facebook where I post all nail stuff. And once again, I'm on YouTube. You can see what I do on YouTube. And have my personal life is on um, Instagram. So, Yeah, be mindful of that. Adding everybody to your personal page and stuff. Because yeah, one person was. I, 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 I ain't gonna say. I think I know. It was the same person who was throwing shade on my YouTube videos. Couple of no, couple of videos back. Yeah. So that's another thing too. If you gonna throw shade, you gotta remember how you type. Cause if you throw shade and say a word on that video, and then you come to my personal page and throw and say the same like word I caught on to it I'm like oh my god that's the same person because who uses that word now I ain't gonna say the word they use but it's like who uses that word nowadays so I just I, I just started taking off people so yeah I just had to put that in there because that was bothering me too yeah if you're private when it comes to your personal life that's fine have a business Instagram let people follow you on there um And also, I'm going ahead and say it on my Instagram. I'm no longer Sweet Candy Cane. Sweet Candy Cane. I retired that name. I'm not sure if I told you guys before. I retired that name because it has nothing to do with my business or anything. And once again, I'm all about branding. So stay ready. Studio Two is my personal Instagram. That's open too, so that I have more followers on that on my personal page. So that's why I post nail stuff on there too. Also, before I forget, um. Damn, I just forgot what I'm finna say. <laughs> um, oh yeah, as far as me, like again, I have to protect myself. I'm all about branding and making myself look more professional. And that's a little, little bit of the reason why I don't do um, look good Fridays anymore because of course as a nail tech, I'm busy on Friday, so I get out of there late sometimes. So by the time I get out of the shop, go home, take a shower, freshen up, have a glass of wine or two or three, I'm a little tipsy, so I'm like, nobody don't want their nail tech, or you trying to find a nail tech, and anytime I look at her, she on, on YouTube talking shit, you know, um, tips, I don't get drunk. So that's why I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm a little wasted, I, I ain't gonna do that no more. So that's why, one of the reasons I stopped doing Look Good Friday, because if it's late, if it's early in the day, then I do one. So yeah, also, yeah, just be mindful in the back of your mind. Like I've been doing lately. I haven't been sharing. Like I told y'all guys this before. I don't share everything on YouTube like y'all think I do. There's a lot of stuff about me y'all don't know. Y'all, y'all, I'm not gonna, I won't say because I know now, okay, I'm branding myself. People be waiting for you to slip up so they can say stuff or whatever. I don't post everything on my Instagram that I want to because again, I'm trying to brand myself. So if you're professional, you got to be mindful of what you put on social media. So that's it, y'all. And remember, you want somebody to give you their money, Make, no, er, look the part, earn it. I always be snatched. Hair done, makeup done, nails done, toes done. Stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. So that's it, y'all. Love you guys. I'll holler. <clears throat>